In 1985, a crew is working hard in an oil rig called Sector 7. When one of the drills is having trouble, a man goes underwater in a submarine and discovers the drill is stuck. In order to fix it, he puts on underwater gear and leaves the submarine, which allows him to see a huge and beautiful sea creature swimming by. At that moment, the sea floor cracks, the ground starts shaking, and some mysterious little glowing creatures begin swimming around the man. He tries to touch one of them, but as soon as he stretches his hand, the pressure of the water suddenly rises and starts pushing the man and the submarine upwards. The man holds onto the drill and tries to use the radio to call for help, but now the little creatures are attacking him and everything goes black. Years pass and it's now 2011. The current crew in Sector 7 is having a problem with the riser, so Hei Jun instructs them to lock the valves while she controls the pressure, during which she accidentally hurts her shoulder. With lots of coordinated effort, the team holds onto the valves as the pipe is slowly lowered. This pipe almost hits a man in the head, but they move away just in time and manage to fix the riser before it gets worse. Afterward, the team discusses the fact they can't seem to find oil. They consider Hei Jun to take unnecessary risks and be too impulsive, which triggers an argument. Hei Jun refuses to give up and swears she'll find oil sooner or later. Meanwhile another employee scolds a young crewman and puts him in crazy positions for almost dropping the pipe on his head earlier. The poor youngster is scared and holds onto the pipe, which causes a weird liquid to come out of the platform. This liquid also brings out a little glowing creature that the men don't recognize. Back to Hei Jun, she's at the clinic so Dr. Moon Hyung can look at her injury. Dong Su comes to tease Hei Jun for this and tries to flirt, still not understanding that she isn't interested. The rest of the crew works on catching a bunch of those little sea creatures and puts them into an aquarium to study. Marine biologist Hyun Jung explains that the creatures are from a chemosynthetic ecosystem, which exists under ours, but she doesn't understand how they found their way into Sector 7. While she's distracted talking to the others, she soon reaches inside the aquarium and retrieves one of the creatures, however the little animal immediately puts out its tongue and hits Chi Soon on the face. Moments later, Chi Soon has a huge wound on his lips. When Hyun Jung is taking the elevator, Chi Soon stops the doors and tries to give her a gift to confess his feelings for her, but she turns him down and forces him out of the elevator. Sometime later, Captain Huang announces they've received orders to leave the rig. Since they can't find oil, the operation has been cancelled. Hei Jun gets angry, saying that they shouldn't give up that easily, then stomps out of the room refusing to give up. Dong Su goes after her and tries to comfort her, but he only makes things worse. A few hours later, a helicopter drops Jungman in Sector 7. He used to work here when he was younger and he's Hei Jun's uncle. Hei Jun meets him with a hug and everyone else has great respect for him because of his reputation in the industry. They prepare a special meal to welcome him properly, and suddenly everyone is showing off their scars. Huang disapproves, saying scars are only signs of carelessness, but Hei Jun shows her own scar and says that the value of scars isn't something that their captain could understand. Afterward, Hei Jun looks at her family's old photograph, and it's revealed her dad was the guy that died underwater years ago. Jungman approaches her to comfort her and Hei Jun reminds him that she wants to keep on digging to find her dad. With this in mind, Jungman talks to Huang and announces he will talk to the board to get a few more months of work. He'll let Huang take all the credit if they find oil, but he'll take the blame if they fail. The next day, Jungman gives a motivational speech to the crew and everyone leaves their handprints on the pipes for good luck. For three months, the crew works extremely hard, and they finally manage to find oil. Now that the main problem is solved, they can catch a break. Jungman likes to shoot plates to relax and keep his aim trained. Meanwhile Hei Jun and Dong Su have a race on their bikes. They ride around the rig at full speed, and Hei Jun takes a shortcut through a staircase to make a big jump. However when she's about to reach the end, Dong Su manages to get there first by making a huge jump that impresses Hei Jun. Dong Su reminds her that if he won she had to kiss him, but she's cheeky and barely pecks his face instead of giving him a proper kiss. Afterward, Hei Jun and one of the crew members put on their gear and dive into the sea to check the structure underneath the rig. When they check the pipe, they notice damage on the metal and begin working on fixing it. Up in the rig, a strange presence begins sneaking around and hits the rope that is holding Hei Jun's crewmate, which begins pulling him in. The crew notices this and tries to pull up, but instead the rope breaks and the man dies while falling to the bottom of the sea. At that moment Hei Jun's tools malfunction and knock her out, so the crew has to pull her out of the sea using the other rope. Suddenly she sees herself surrounded by weird-looking jellyfish and among them she finds the dead face of her friend, but this turns out to be a dream and Hei Jun wakes up in the clinic. She has a breakdown because of grief, and Jungman comforts her before sending her to her room to rest. Hyun Jung visits her and wants to tell her something very important, but before she can say anything, she's interrupted by the others and leaves. Then Hyun Jung goes outside to do some thinking and is approached by Chi Soon, who keeps bothering her with his advances. This is seen by the working crew. Later in the evening, Hei Jun sits at her friend's machinery to grieve for him, but she's suddenly startled when the body of Hyun Jung falls on the window. She's taken to the clinic and Moon Hyung inspects the body, deciding that Hyun Jung ended things for herself. Hei Jun refuses to believe it because Hyun Jung wasn't in that state of mind, she also thinks the doctor is rushing the investigation. 
At that moment, Moon Hyung notices something else. There's male seat on the body, proving someone may have pushed her after all. The crew immediately gets suspicious of Chi Soon and two crew members go to find him. Chi Soon swears he didn't do anything, but the others beat him up to capture him. At the clinic, Moon Hyung is looking at the seat under the microscope and discovers there's something different about it. At that moment the guys come with Chi Soon to show him the body, and Chi Soon immediately starts crying. To be sure of the evidence, Moon Hyung asks them to get hair from Chi Soon for a DNA test. Meanwhile Hei Jun remembers Hyun Jung tried to tell her something and guesses something is wrong, so she goes to inspect the laboratory. She hears a noise coming from a cabinet and when she opens it, she's startled by a creature, but it's just a rat. Then she looks outside the laboratory and discovers that substance that looks like male seed is leaking out of the pipes. In the clinic, Moon Hyung is doing the DNA test when he suddenly hears something. He checks the door and sees nothing, but someone off screen hits him and kills him in seconds. Back to Hei Jun, she continues to look around and finds the broken rope, but at that moment she hears someone running away. When she goes to check, she finds Hu Wang, who tells her Moon Hyung is dead. The crew gets together to discuss theories and discovers both bodies are gone. The guys think Chi Soon did it, but Jungman is skeptical. Meanwhile Chi Soon is tied up in the basement and begins shaking in fear when he sees a strange shadow approaching him. At that moment the crew arrives and finds a trail of blood and that seed-like substance that they follow to find Chi Soon hurt in a corner. At first they think he's dead, but when they come closer, Chi Soon wakes up and starts to freak out as he announces there's a monster in the building. Suddenly the entire rig starts to shake and Chi Soon takes the chance to run away. The crew splits into two groups to go after him, and when Hei Jun and Dong Su go down a corridor, they're shocked to discover a huge monster walking on the ceiling. In another corridor, Chi Soon is trying to escape without being noticed, but the monster finds him and immediately kills him. Moments later, Hei Jun and Dong Su make it to the generator room and discover the monster made a nest there. The whole place is now covered in goo and has the dead crew bodies in it, which has turned off the power. Afterward, the crew gathers in the comms room and Hei Jun tells them the monster is real. They try to make a call for help but communicators are down, so Jungman grabs his weapon and announces he'll be fighting back. Hei Jun, Dong Su, and Hu Wang decide to go with him, and they start making their way down the corridors to find the monster. Instead they end up finding another two crewmen, and the noise they make gets the attention of the terrifying creature, who shows up behind the duo. Hei Jun and Jungman want to shoot, but they don't have a clear aim. Jungman asks the guy to move the clutter, but he misunderstands and begins clapping instead. At that moment the creature reveals its long tongue and catches the crew member to begin tossing him around, hurting him by beating him against walls and clutter. Hei Jun and Jungman take the opening and come closer to shoot at the monster, allowing the two crew members to escape. The monster falls to the ground for a few seconds, but it turns out it's only taking a moment to recover from the bullet wounds and now it's ready to attack again. Then Jungman takes out a lighter and starts a flame before throwing it at the monster, who immediately catches on fire. Furious, it begins chasing the crew, who runs away and tries to close a door behind them but the monster easily pushes it down. Next the crew gets inside the elevator, and the monster crashes against the door, unable to break this one. However it finds the window and it breaks it to make its long tongue come through. The crew dodges every attack, and when Hei Jun sees an opening, she cuts the tongue down with an axe. Afterward the crew goes to the lab and takes care of their wounds while Captain Hu Wang gets suspicious of Jungman, saying he volunteered to come back to this lousy rig and that he knew to use fire against the creature. Jungman responds by breaking one of the aquarium boxes and grabbing one of the little creatures to set it on fire, saying it'll keep the flame up for 24 hours. Then he shares the whole story. When Hei Jun's father found the creatures years ago, the science team immediately noticed that the seed-like liquid these animals produce could be used as a much better oil. However there was an ethical argument because they would be burning living beings. The team started to breed and experiment with these creatures, and one of them ended up growing into the giant monster they met earlier. Han Young discovered the truth while she was doing her research, and when she threatened to tell the others, Jungman killed her. Back to the present, an angry Hei Jun feels betrayed by her own uncle, but Jungman says he's come back to pay for his mistakes. Suddenly they begin hearing noises and the monster appears at the window, which it quickly breaks to get inside and attack. The crew begins running away and Jungman gets captured, but he tells Hei Jun to leave him and escape. As Jungman is tossed around by that sticky tongue, he manages to grab a bottle of burning medicine and throws it at the monster, who immediately hisses in pain and drops the man before running from the room. The crew goes looking for their weapons and Hei Jun volunteers to go to the generator room to restore the power. Dong Su goes with her and watches in shock how Hei Jun isn't afraid to reach into the goo and pull the lever to finally bring power back. Meanwhile Huang and the two young guys go down a corridor and are startled when they suddenly find the monster underneath their feet. They try to hold him down, but the creature is too strong and bursts through the floor to attack. The men try to shoot it to no avail and the creature begins chasing them. As they run, one of the young men trips and his friend goes back to help him, but Huang keeps running and enters another room where he locks the door, not caring about the pleas of his terrified men. The friends try to cling to each other, but the monster uses his tongue to pull them apart and one by one, he kills the two guys without mercy. 
By the time Hei Jun and Dong Su come back, they're shocked to see nobody around. It turns out Huang has selfishly taken the submarine alone and is trying to escape by going underwater. However he barely manages to travel for a few minutes before the body of one of his crew members hits the window, and the creature suddenly appears on top of the submarine to break all the glass and let the water into the vehicle, causing Huang to drown. Back on the rig, Jungmin initiates the building self-destruction sequence before going outside to shoot a flare. Hei Jun and Dong Su want to stop it, but only the captain has the power to do so. At that moment the monster comes back and Jungmin meets him with a flamethrower, which only burns the monster a little bit and doesn't have much of an impact. Next Jungmin begins fighting the monster with a pipe, and after exchanging a few hits and being tossed around, he stabs the creature and holds onto the metal as a trap. Now Jungmin can use the lighter again and start a better fire, which begins burning the creature at great speed. However Jungmin got covered in the weird liquid during the fight and he ends up dying in the fire. The creature begins shaking in pain and looking for water, so Dong Su has to push Hei Jun out of its way. Unfortunately the monster uses the chance to grab Dong Su as well, and it brings him with it when it jumps into the ocean together with Jungmin's body. Devastated, Hei Jun falls to her knees and suddenly hears something. It looks like Dong Su managed to save himself by holding onto a rope. Hei Jun immediately gets her bike and uses it to pull at the rope. The monster jumps out of the water to try to attack, but Hei Jun pulls up Dong Su just in time. Suddenly the bike slips and Hei Jun falls, hurting her shoulder in the process, but luckily Dong Su can climb the rest of the way up. With one minute left for self-destruction, Hei Jun is happy to see Dong Su again, but the moment is ruined when the monster crawls back. Dong Su grabs it by his mouth and begins struggling against it, wanting to give Hei Jun the chance to escape. The monster doesn't give up and throws Dong Su in the air before jumping after him and killing him with a quick bite. The creature doesn't stay in the water though, it quickly begins climbing back, so Hei Jun gets on her bike and drives near the monster to get its attention. Using a gun, she shoots at it to put it near the edge to delay it, then she drives away to make a huge jump and turns around a corner to go under a narrow pathway. When the monster tries to follow her, it gets stuck in the structure, so Hei Jun pulls another quick maneuver and throws the bike at the creature, causing a huge explosion. Unfortunately, the monster is thoroughly burned yet still not dead. Hei Jun runs to the drilling area and hides in the cabin, where she carefully presses a button to open a door from afar. The monster goes into the other room thinking someone is there, and then Hei Jun closes the door, thinking she's managed to lock it up. However the monster still escapes and comes back through the ceiling, then it begins chasing Hei Jun through the pipes. Hei Jun grabs a wrench and begins hitting the monster, only to get pushed against the machinery. Then Hei Jun finds some rope and lets the crane take her up. The monster begins climbing up too, so Hei Jun jumps onto a pipe and causes the monster to fall right into the drilling spot. She falls as well and hurts her leg, but at least she dodges the pipe just in time. Next, Hei Jun rushes to grab the remote control and stands still to lure the monster in. Once it's close enough, she presses the button, and the drill comes down, holding the monster captive. However its limbs are still free and manage to grab Hei Jun's leg, making her fall. Hei Jun struggles against the hold and drags her body on the floor until she reaches the control and activates the drill, which begins slashing through the monster's body and finally kills it. Afterward, the rig begins to self-destruct. Hei Jun doesn't let all the explosions scare her and she gets on her bike to jump out of the building and reach a nearby platform, where she shoots another flare. Soon a helicopter comes by and rescues her. A few years later, an older Hei Jun comes back to Sector 7 and checks the underwater pipes, where she begins crying when she discovers all the encouraging messages her old crew had written on them before the tragedy. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.